Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss a use case which you have asked in the live class for Learn Power BI series which is a pre-recorded series and it is available on my website biworld.in. In that live class you have asked how can we convert a single table into a star schema. Now this single table is the very common file which is available on my github account which is beginner tutorial series file which I have also used in my beginner tutorial. This is the retail file which is having the entire data in one single file and you wanted to know how can we convert into a star schema. In this video what I am going to do is I am going to give you the video which I have recorded for that particular series so that you can take the advantage here also on the YouTube. The purpose of this video is to convert the single file into a star schema. So first of all let me explain you that excel file which we have so this is the file which is known as retail data on beginner tutorial file this file contains order id order number order date which are the order attributes then it has a dimension which is a part of this table only which is item id item number category subcategory sub subcategory -sub and brand then i have unit price which is the sales price quantity how much we have sold discount percentage it is actual discount percentage so we don't have to divide it by 100 then we have gross sales discount net sales which is known as sales unit cost the cost which you are paying for this item then we have requested date delivery date this also contain the geography item attribute which is city state region and location id but not all four can be a part of a single dimension it also has some single column dimensions like order type payment method and customer id so using this single excel sheet we can do the complete analysis on power bi but we know the star schema works best on power bi so what we are going to do is we are going to convert this single file into a star schema and i'm going to showcase you all the steps for that what we have done so far is we have learned some basic power query transformation now time has come that we apply those transformation onto a data set and this data set is basically a single table and this single table we wanted to break into a star schema so how to do the various transformation to convert this table into a star schema and to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the github and from the github I'm going to take this file for beginner tutorial series youtube.xml again I already opened that file and I'm now going to right click on the raw copy link I'll take this link and I'll go back to power bi power bi I'll click on get data web if this URL click on ok it will show me only one sheet and I'm going to pick up that particular sheet and after that I will click on transform data this will open the data onto the power query mode and we can directly transform it without loading it this data is a very special data because all the attributes whether they are dimension or majors are available in one single table I want to create fact and dimension out of this single table I'll tell you what all this table contains this particular data is having order ID order date item ID category subcategory sub subcategory -sub brand unit price quantity discount percentage unit cost quantity state region location ID order type payment method and customer I want to create multiple dimension tables out of it but how can I do that now what happens when I want to create a dimension on a single stuff like order type or payment method then I do have options like you know add as a new query on a single column but I do not have similar option for multiple columns for that we need to explore the option of duplicating the table to do that I can right click on the sheet and I have two options duplicate and reference so duplicate will duplicate and it will take whatever steps has been performed till now it is just duplicate this code and after that there is no connection between the two table but what would happen in case of reference it is going to create a reference but it will have the reference to this table which sheet one whatever it is so the advantage of reference is it is going to load the data for once and then it is going to process rest of the things but in case of duplicate because it is going to load the data again and again so every time you take it it will load the data for all the duplication you have created so if you have created four duplicates it is going to load the data four times let me show you what happens when I create a duplicate copy so if you see the duplicate copy if you see in the sheet 1 look at the steps in the sheet 1 and go and look at the steps in the sheet 2 also they are same and if you click into the source you will see it is getting data from the same place but now if I right click and use reference you will see that it is referencing the sheet 1 
But the disadvantage with that is if I go ahead and do, let's say, one operation here. Let's say if I go back and create the gross column which we are always creating. So I go and create a custom column and let me call it as gross amount. So this gross amount equals quantity multiplied by unit price. Click on OK to add. Gross amount is available here in the sheet 1 but if I go to sheet 3 and you scroll, you also see gross amount which is a reference table. It's going to get everything. So to avoid this, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything with the sheet 1. So let me delete whatever I've created. So I'm deleting the queries. I'll go to the sheet 1. I'll also delete the edit column. Let me rename it as sales underscore base. I'm not going to do anything with this table. Now. I want to create item tables, but for that, what I'm going to do is I need these fields. Item, category, subcategory, sub subcategory, and brand. That constitute my item table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a reference table. Our reference table is created now. Let me rename it as item. So item query has been created, which is going to become item table. I'll select item ID, category ID, subcategory ID, subcategory ID, and brand. Shift and click. All these columns are selected. I'll right click and I'll use remove other columns. Remove whatever other columns are there other than what I've selected. Post that, I click on item ID or, I, or click here on the corner and after that I can use remove duplicates. Now it will remove duplicates for the table and now what I need to check here is am I getting the distinct item IDs or not because if item ID is not distinct then it's not going to become my primary key. So what I'm going to do here is I'll go here to the view and here let me add column distribution and you see thousand distinct and thousand unique. Let me click on the bottom and use entire data set. And you can see 2644, 2644 is unique and distinct. It means item ID is my primary key or unique key. I don't need index column for uniqueness. I can use item ID to join with my fact table. Let's add another dimension now. Again, I go back, I duplicate this using reference and let me call it as geography. And in geography, I want to bring the columns city, state, region and location. I selected all of them, right click, remove other column. I click on the top corner and I'll use the option remove duplicates. And let's wait for the location ID stats. Here you see there is a problem. And the problem is see, there are only 75 unique, but there are 299 distinct. It means it's not a primary. The cities are 71 unique. There is some problem and the problem is caused by the region column. It is not allowing us to get the location ID as unique column. Let's go to the remove other columns tab and from there we will remove region as a column. And once we remove this region as a column, we can press enter and check for the results. And once we go to the remove duplicate step, we will see that now location ID will become a primary key or a unique key. And now you can see 299 distinct and 299 unique. It means location ID can be used as a primary key or unique key and it can also be used as a join column to join with the fact table. Two dimension tables are done and now I can go back and look at the data. Now I'm not bothered about order ID and order date but I would like to create some single column dimension. So let's go ahead. I'll tell you how to create dimension for order type and payment method for order type and payment method. Now these tables don't have their own IDs also. So I need ID all and region also one of the contender in region. So right click on this and add as a new query. Now again, when I add as a new query, it's going to take all these steps. So this is what I don't want. So I don't want this. This is one of the best method to do it. But again, you see that all the steps are repeating. This is what we don't want. So we go ahead and remove this and instead of that, we'll only go to the reference and there we'll select one column, let's say region in this case, remove other columns and then simply because it's only one column, we can remove duplicates by clicking on the column, duplicates are removed. Now here I want to have an ID column and that ID column I again want back in my fact table whenever I go to create a fact. So what I'm going to do for that? So I'm going to add index column. Go to add column and there index column starting from one I added an index. The same exercise I need to repeat for order type and payment method. But right now I'll just keep it till this example. Let me call this table as region. So now what I want to do, do is now this region has a new ID and I would like to populate it back. And then I'll get the payment ID, then I'll get the order type ID. I would like to populate those all. Let's start working on the fact table. So first of all, let's go to the sales base. You click on the sales base, you go to the home tab. We'll use much queries. Much queries is new and I'm going to create a fact table now. And here I'm going to join with the region base. The join would be the region column, region to region. It would be a left outer join. Always prefer it outer join in the favor of the base table. 
ideally it should match everything unless we have null values so let me go ahead and click on ok now but when you scroll on the right you see there is a table now expand that uncheck this use original column and we should have renamed this index column we have not renamed so we are going to rename it here now so let me add this index column and let me call this index column as region id now this i can use to join back with my region table i will go back into the region table and also try to rename index as region id now once i rename it as a region id the step which we have already added into the merge table might not work as expected so we might have to edit the merge step i click on the setting and i replace it with region id it is giving me a question mark so i don't want that question mark to continue here and i'll delete this rename column and now you can see the question mark has been removed i got the correct name region id now i would like to rename this merge one table as my sales fact table how do I add the other things? Let's say if I want to have payment, how do I want to add the payment ID here? Am I going to create another version of this table or I'm going to merge with this? So I'm going to merge with this. So let's take one example. I will go back to the sales base table, right click and create one more reference of it. You go to the payment method, right click, remove other columns and again right click, remove duplicates. Then go to add columns, add index column from one and let's call it payment method ID. Now I need this ID in my sales fact. Before that, let's call this table as payment method. Now we want to merge the payment method with sales fact. So what we are going to do here is we'll click on the sales fact, go to the home tab. Now instead of merge queries as new, I'm going to use merge queries. Inside the merge queries, you will bring in the payment method query also. And we'll click on payment method, payment method. And this again is going to be a left join. Click on OK. Scroll till the right. Now you can see payment method uh, appearing as a column and the column contains table, which we need to expand. Expand that, we only need the payment method ID. We're going to take that, click on OK. Our fact is ready. Now our facts and dimensions are ready and I'm going to click on close and apply. And it is evaluating all the tables. So you can see it started running the query for sales base, item, geography, rating connections, loading data to the model. And the sales base table is loading and respective other tables which are dependent on that are also getting the data. The sales fact is still not loaded because it is dependent on all other tables like payment method, region. Now it started loading and you might have seen that, you know, sales base is not moving at all and dependent fact table can load. You might have also seen that other tables were not loading as many rows as the sales base table. And this is the advantage of taking the reference. Now we'll go to the model view because I would like to show you how to create a model in such scenario. So because we have the setting of detecting the relationship, it has detected the relationship, but those relationships are not correct. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete those relationships and I'm going to create all the relationship again. One thing which I'm also going to do here is I'm going to hide the sales base. I don't want to see that table now. I'm not needing that. So I close the eye here so it will be hidden. Now sales fact is my main table. Payment method, geography, item are around it. So how do we want to connect item ID with item ID? Where is our item table? So item ID, drag item ID on the item ID. Sales fact item ID equal to item ID, many to one single directional join. It is already suggesting that. So let's do that. Then we will create region ID to region ID. Again, many to one single directional. Then we have payment method, payment method to payment method. This should be one to many single direction because we direct from the payment method side. And now we want to connect with location ID. So location ID to location ID, one to many, single directional. Click on save. So now we got all our joins sorted out. This is the schema which has been created. Let's save this file. So this is the star schema we have created from a single file. And this is very similar to what we were creating using sales data used in video or sales data used in fabric file. That was a perfect star schema and the four tables were given. But here we have transformed to create a star schema. It has almost similar kind of column. The discount percentage here is actual discount percentage. So you don't need to divide it by 100. You can create column in Power Query. You can create column index. You have the additional dimension which are coming in order type customer. You can also enhance those. Like in customer, you can add the customer name as a appending of customer ID, like customer space, the ID that what you can create either index or power. These are few of the things which you can do and create the schema and try out everything which we have done during the this series or video and repeat that on this particular data model. And this data is much better data. And just to give an example in visualization, if you go here and bring it from the item brand, you see some of the actual brand names, which has been created in this data and that is why I always say this data is much better data 
than the data which we have. It too have a lot of variety. I do have a better version of this data which contain little bit of more data. And for that, you can ping me in the comments. I can give you a Dropbox link from there. You can take this file and load. So this is the way you use the Power Query transformation to create a star schema. We had one table and from there we created star schema. There are scenarios where you might have a snowflake schema or a relational schema and from there also you can merge and create star schema. So go ahead and try out those different combinations.